Years ago, in Old England, there was a minister named Roger Williams. He disagreed with the Church of England, so he set off to a new world where he could believe as he wanted to. In 1631, he arrived in Boston and was offered a position in the church. But he found out that they were still tied to the Church of England. Roger Williams wanted a church that was completely separate from the Church of England. He then joined the Pilgrims down in Plymouth. While he was there, he made friends with the Narragansett Indians and learned their language. The Pilgrims believed they had a right to the land, but Roger Williams believed they needed to pay for the land they had taken. He told the people in Plymouth they needed to pay the Indians for their land. Roger then left and joined the Puritan colony at Salem. Breaking any of the Ten Commandments was illegal, but he believed the first four commandments shouldn't be against the law. Roger Williams believed there needed to be a separation between the church and the government. The people of Salem thought his beliefs were dangerous, so they banished him from the colony. He fled into the woods in the middle of winter, but he was rescued by the Native Americans. Sasha Massasoit gave him shelter until spring. Roger Williams then found some land further south along the river. He traded with the Narragansett people for it. He started a village and called it Providence. It later became a part of a colony that would be called Rhode Island. Rhode Island would be the first place in America where religion and government were separate. Roger helped start the first Baptist church in America, and Rhode Island was home to the first Jewish synagogue in America. Today, a park has been built at the site where Roger Williams started the settlement of Providence. It's called Roger Williams National Memorial. Let's go visit the memorial. Welcome, Welcome to Roger, Roger Williams National Memorial. At the Visitor Center, you can learn more about Roger Williams and his fight for religious freedom and respect towards the Native Americans. Roger Williams always carried a compass and a sundial to find his way. Not all early settlers were treated equally, but the courage of people like Roger Williams showed that each of us can make a difference. Beside the visitor center, there's a park dedicated to Roger Williams. Roger Williams found a providence by a spring near here. Roger Williams' house was just right up this hill. Providence was settled right here. This is the birthplace of religious freedom. Further up the hill, you can see the burial site of Roger Williams. His statue overlooks the land that he helped set free. See ya!